again uh, we're going south again to the beautiful uh, Lake Garda yesterday we did Venice and Lake Garda okay you can see them on the videos I don't know if I'm going to upload them all together or separately, probably separately like you know part 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that the, the lake, I can tell you it's amazing a lot of motorcycles hold on third exit, 1, 2, 3 you gotta really have I'd say one regular GPS and your phone sometimes is not gonna work you gotta have roaming, you gotta have this, you, have, you gotta have that to get a decent GPS uh, perception on your phone alright uh, otherwise it will, it will work but if I didn't have my GPS, the TomTom -tom with me uh, I believe me, at least that will get lost we was losing a reception in many places Okay, we're going to go first exit So today I'm going to go to the other side uh, The caves The cave road, what I call it uh, The Della Porta, it's closed Due to construction or rocks failing and stuff So we're going to go around on the other entrance where we can walk and see the caves okay and uh, see the lake one more time and maybe fly the drone a little bit okay because it's really this area is amazing if you come if you come to italy you gotta visit you gotta really visit this lake it's very beautiful recording it here so you can see how beautiful this lake is but probably you can see it from Rose GoPro much better uh, we're entering a tunnel turn it off again so the story is we have a design or plan a great tour Greece and Italy for next year and we believe it or not, we already have participants so right now we are uh, actually uh, finding the places and uh, you know, recording the routes and make sure that all the routes they are you know, writable and uh, you know, we're looking for uh, you know, restaurants and stuff and places like that for people to be ready to tour Okay. Like you see on Google, you can really find some places that are open or closed. It says closed, but sometimes they're open because you know uh, we're calling here and there. And the best, the best thing to do is just ride them, see what's going on, and find uh, uh, alternative routes. Okay, if you can't go from here, you gotta go from there. And of course, you gotta have a local guide. You gotta have people that they already know the road that we're going to have, including us. And that's that's the trick. Check it out. This 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 is an unbelievable ride. This is the second time we're going down south of the uh, the lake now. And it's really difficult to live from these places. It's amazing. Gorgeous. It's epic. This is an epic ride. If you go 
to Italy, make sure you do beach side of Lake Garda. Alright. So on the left here, there is a very famous walkway. You can Google it. That goes all around where we go right now and it goes in through some caves. And uh, you can actually walk right there. The, the, the whole thing. Check it out. I can't live from here. It's like this is like our second day on this lake. <laughs> Gotta get out of here somehow. But this ride is just amazing. And, and this lake is huge. Uh, you're probably going to see it from the GoPro, but it's a lot of motorcycles. You're not going to see them all, but it's a lot. And most of these guys wave. It's nice. Let's say hi. So in Agus, uh temperature here is it's comfortable. I uh, was not really comfortable on Milano. Milano was like around 39. Here is like a bit 30. And uh, yes, that was the only thing that was really uncomfortable. And there's no way you can get a hotel here. So usually what we do is we go a little bit up north and very close to the lake. This is what we did. Well, we did, uh, we did camp last night on a beautiful camping in the castle. You can, see it in one of the episodes so we're getting closer and closer to our turn a little bit traffic here I'm gonna turn it off ah it's actually FTX it's recording how many boats are there? It's unbelievable! <coughs> Some of these tunnels, they are pre-World War II. Or most of them. Maybe all of them. Because, uh, or maybe even older, because it's like, I see, I see a lot of stone work. We're going to go to Tremosin. See a couple of villages. Alright. It's like uh, Lake Garda inside villages. And stuff. Very steep road. We're going to go nice and easy. I can tell you for experience this is really steep how uh, we used to it we have wash roads in Greece but this is not for uh, an experienced riders I will say this is uh, advanced so when we do the tour we're gonna do the tour we're gonna take only a very experienced rides for this one And 
somebody lies, we're just going to put them back in the plane, send them back, because that happens too. There is other tools that you can join, uh, much easier, but uh, this particular tour will be advanced. And if you want to see more steep roads, check out the, uh, the episode, the Million Turns route, me and Rosewood did last year. You're really going to enjoy it. On the first uh, episode, you can see turns that <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Really difficult to turn. You got to open up the bike a little bit and uh, do a very steep turn when you turn actually uh, just in case somebody's coming. Look at that. So this area is the thermal scene. Very famous for very, you know, natural, traditional villages. I hope so. Because this is what we like. We want to see the, the real Italy, not the tourist Italy. So far, so good. But no matter what you're going to see here, it's the roots. The roots are amazing. So we keep still going up. Uh, I can feel my I can feel my ears open up. So we gotta be at least 300 300 meters up right now. That's another village. There's a nice church on the left. Looks like these are rooms. The restaurante, La Picharia, another adventure bike. Τι έγινε? Να πιείς λίγο Βασικά εγώ θέλω να πιω λίγο νερό Alright, it's ask for water Ah, άστο Το έχω βγάλει έξω Wow, look at that, μωρό μου Check this out On the left here, I don't know if you can see it from the top But it's like going vertical down Real steep. Real steep. Okay, we're going down now. So this will be like around, uh, um, I, don't know, I can't remember, I think it was like uh, 14 or 17 kilometers to, to do this round with the villages and everything. Okay. This looks like a <laughs> uh, Greek village actually, these houses. Very similar, very place. It looks like Greece. But I think, uh, I mean, I don't know other parts of Italy, but maybe on the south, but uh, I think Greek villages are much more traditional. Because we still have very pure villages. Uh, uh, they're not really contaminated with the tourism yet. Thank God. Okay. 
GPS τώρα, περίμενε λίγο I can tell you the thing is that the, the whole place here is very very pretty. This is an epic ride today. Second day with an epic ride. Ah yeah, this this really the asphalt is like this is look this is new. You know, the darker the asphalt, the newest, and uh, the better it is, you know. Yeah. This is a new asphalt. This, this place is very green, very green. And there's some construction here. Another scooter. <laughs> I mean, this is the country with the scooters. I mean, don't take me wrong, I don't like them much. But I respect everybody on two wheels. But, uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of people here that don't know how to drive cars. On narrow roads like this one that's another reason I have put all my lights I have put four lights on front right now what is this strange tunnel babe are you recording oh this is gonna be a very interesting video. Now this road becomes more narrow and more narrow and more narrow. And cars coming. I have to start beeping on a blind turns, unfortunately. I have no choice here. Because these guys, they turn and they think the road is empty. And uh, first of all, I have to be this These turns are extreme blind. You can see nothing.
जलाकर किया तलती तलती तलमी 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 जलाकर किया जलाकर किया तलमी कमाल माय गोब्रो So we are on the road and uh, look where we are. Take it out. <coughs> Let me show you. We're going to see it on uh, the GoPro. Okay. And uh, we're going north to Aruba. It will probably be tomorrow. We don't know. We're not, uh, we don't have any plans, but uh, you know, check it out. It's already gorgeous, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we took a little break here. Have a espresso with ice. Italians look like they don't drink uh, ice coffee or something like that. I don't know. But this lady, she couldn't understand what we say, like, uh, you know, Fretto Cappuccino. And it's an Italian word, okay? She couldn't speak any English or any German because she speaks German. Okay, are we good? All right, so I'm out of here because there is a thunder right above our head. So we wanted to get out of here before it starts pouring uh, in this beautiful day. You know, rain gear and jackets, and I don't want to. We're going slow anyway. And everybody rides with a t-shirt here. Check it out, this river. So we are on the way to Aruba. I don't know if we're going to arrive today or not, but I don't really care. We're just going to get uh, as much as we want. We're going to enjoy the ride. We're all going to take uh, all the way up back roads. We avoid highways. Let me put some lights on because these guys, you know, I don't really know how they drive. You know? And it's a two-way street, so we'll have to be careful. I see some of them crossing this line and I don't like it so you know it, it it can be better than that you know riding through the forest there is a river over there and we just did uh, you know finish up with Lake Garda and Venice yesterday uh, oh there is a little waterfall over there babe are you okay yeah, good all right, so basically, uh, I think today will be the best ride. I mean, uh, but I'm not sure yet. One thing for sure, temperatures they are lower than yesterday. Yesterday was uh, uh, we ride on a heat wave in a, on a highway, and I hate it. <coughs> it was 39 degrees. Today is like 32, right here. 
and uh, I'll be watching the I'll be planning this this particular uh, uh, this particular tour for all two of us I'll be playing that the last three months so I know exactly what I'm doing uh, but the weather in Venice was like uh, you know 28 30 and most of the days of last month was raining ah! unbelievable was raining and I'm like okay the worst scenario we're just gonna put rain gear but the temperature was good it was around 30 32 we got there with 37 and 39 40 on the highway I hate it but we took a taxi a water taxi probably can see it on the video okay we're crossing a little village here I gotta slow down to 50 Okay, and uh, more bikes there. So, I'll let you enjoy the ride. I'm going to stop talking a little bit and turn this off. Okay, so we'll go through, uh, I will call it a village. <coughs> I will go for, uh, towards Trento. And a uh, lot of motorcycles. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't recognize the plates. Uh, <coughs> they can be Italians, they can be Germans, they can be Austrians, they can be from Switzerland. Uh, they can be from, you know, from UK. I don't know, I recognize UK. But they're, uh, the plates, they're looking like our plates. <coughs> so I'm not really sure what they are. Don't tell me how they look like it because they're all really wearing we all wearing helmets. And we got a lot of Harleys on the road. We got a lot of beamers on the road. We got Yamahas, we got Hondas, we got it's another great motorcycle country. That's what I can say. Greece is great with motorcycles. Everybody has motorcycles. Italy is about, is about, is about the same. Spain is not the same. Not too many motorcycles there because I've been through Spain uh, many, you know, twice all over the place. So maybe it was the season, but I didn't see too many motorcycles like in Greece and Italy. In Greece and Italy, we are everywhere. Looks like here we can pass the slow cars. We we'll see. Ah, uh, this is a good place to pass. No, it's not. Actually, people going a little bit faster here. It's okay. Temperature, it's thirty. Thirty point five. Babe, did you change the battery? Okay, so I can turn this off. Alright, see you guys later.